Hey everybody, and we're back with Durahands. The Xenia. It proves that women are women also participated in ancient battles. Oh no, is this yeah, it's sub pixie. Icon, I hope you're watching because I bet you freaking love this thing. <laughs> Icon loves Durahands. This thing is <laughs> I just don't know what to say. I mean, I'm okay with most of it. It's just like what is its face? I don't know. Mm. Barn's making noises at us. Did I, did I do all the uh, animations? Okay. Vesuvius. Vesuvius. <laughs> Its helmet has a curved dragon figure on it. Now, I actually do recognize this one. I had a Vesuvius when I played the game when I was a kid. Um, it was actually the best Dura hand I had. I'm trying to remember, Icon told me which Dura hand he had to beat the game, and now I can't remember. Maybe if I see it, I might remember, because I know we've had this discussion a couple times. Hercules has excellent strength, and a dull sword won't even scratch it. That's a weird statement. <laughs> um. Yep. It's part Beklon. I mean, I don't really know what to say about it. I think they did a good job on him, but... This is kind of bland. Yeah, he's... I think he, he works for his style, but... Chromatics. This stone armor it's, is too heavy for normal people to wear. Well, I would assume you're not wearing any of these monsters. <laughs> I like it, actually. It looks like sandstone and might easily break. Yeah, actually, out of the ones we've seen so far, he's probably my favorite. I, I He actually might be a good one. That'd be one i try to raise. I like his blue eye. It's like, whoosh. Blink. I'm a drugor. Blink. Durahan. Ancient armor has mutated into the monster with his, this name. Yep. So we've seen so many things sub Durahan. We feel like we've seen Durahans by this point. Durahan? I've never really thought about it before. Durahan. Norka. <laughs> This armor made out of the shell of arrowheads is light and easy to handle. Uh-oh, this should be interesting. Hi, Peach. Wow, actually, that's not too bad. That's okay. It's not weird enough for you? I guess, what you're telling I don't me? Know. How about it upside down? Oh, definitely. <laughs> is that improving it? Yeah, definitely. That's by at least 75%. <laughs> Hound Knight. Its helmet is shaped like a tiger's figure. Maybe this is the one Icon was talking about? Hound Knight? No, I can't remember. He's probably going to be upset with me. No, I was the blah 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 knight. The Super Uber Limited Edition Special. I could text him in the middle of this, but... Oh no, no I can't. It's Sunday. He's busy. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! You know, motor cars don't drive themselves. <laughs> Garuda! It is said that the legendary general Garuda used to wear it. Oh, this is Sub Phoenix, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first sub Phoenix thing we've seen. It's chicken. Wow. I didn't even know there was stuff that was sub Phoenix. Um, we actually saw the Phoenix in the LP. We saw it like escape from the the volcano. Phoenix isn't too difficult to get in this one. I kind of like it. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't play with it, but it's interesting looking. Metal Glory. There is no record showing that this armor has been used in the past. Only in the future. Yeah, we have records of it being used in the future. <laughs> I actually remember this one. I, I did have this one as a kid. Well, I've at least seen it. Cause I remember thinking the I remember seeing the alien in his face there. Um, it looks very similar to the Hengar. <laughs> <laughs> Genocider. It is said that a curse has been put upon this armor. Oh no, a curse! By a joker! Ah, that thing's creepy! Oh, he's got little, like, uh, skulls on his shoulders. 
technical wrestler's belt. That thing's creepy. Moving on. <laughs> wood knight. Poor knights made this armor out of the trees in the ancient era. I remember the wood knight. Uh, I like it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that's sub mock. I didn't really think about that. Man, I'm gonna go after people with my wooden knight here. <laughs> Minus 50% durability. <laughs> Shogun. This armor was discovered in an eastern country. Yeah, I was gonna say he's sub. He's cool. Not my style, but he's still cool. Shogun. Ruby Knight. It is said that it was the armor for the ancient royal guard. Oh, maybe this is the one that Icon had was the Ruby Knight. That actually sounds familiar. Maybe this is it. I know he had a Durahand, I, and it was one I wasn't too familiar with, so... Kokushi Muso. Muso. This name means that no one can equal it. Oh man, we should have had that. We can beat the game. Whoa, he's got quite the sword there. I'm sitting here trying to remember that song from Mulan. A girl worth fighting for. A girl worth fighting for. No matters what she cooks like. Alright, we're on um, Arrowheads now. Oh, I'm sorry. You should... I get to read them, even though oh, you... Oh, no. <laughs> the Reno Craft. This monster is a prototype made by engineers prior to Hingar. This should look familiar. <laughs> oh. Oh, I missed an animation. No, don't miss it. <laughs> Prior rocks. This monster inhabits the desert and is nocturnal. And likes to rap. That's random. Why is it nocturnal? I mean, I think most scorpions are, but... Oh no, barn, hang in there. Plated arrow. The real design of this monster is in the form of vapor. <laughs> Okay. Are they just spouting gas? It's weird. It's got like claw machine hands. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh oh, Byron. Did you wake up? Are you wanting food? You're gonna have to wait, buddy. We just started this video. The arrowhead. Since it has a very hard sell, it was hardly KO'd in battle. Yeah, right. We got KO'd plenty of times. You know, as much as I used to rat on this thing, I can't anymore. Because you've grown to appreciate its cuteness? No, Helper made it not stink so bad. Aww. Mustard arrow. Aww. Dropping tears does not always mean the sadness. Okay. <laughs> that thing is no. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Moving on. <laughs> Bless you, Byron. Quiet. Skelketo. It has thousands of thorns and stings whoever touches it. Ugh. 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 Uh, I could see myself having that. It's, 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 kind of, it's creepy, but kind of cool. No. Moving on. Sub Joker. There we go. <laughs> the Log Star. <laughs> <laughs> its body is made out of solid oak and is not s soft but, f is, but inflammable. These are such random descriptions. Ah, okay, that is the creepiest thing that's sub mock yet. <laughs> it looks like some kind of weird spider. You sat down beside her. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the sumopian. It is strange looking, but it does practice hard every day. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to see this thing. Ah. Oh! I could have done without this. <laughs> no. Sumo. That's. Ugh. Okay, normal to tigers. Ooh, yawn. Daton. It is quite playful, but sometimes it injures, injury, injures its trainer. So the tigers are actually very similar to the ones in one. I almost say that I don't think they changed anything. This looks exactly like the Dayton from uh, the first game. Oh yeah, animations. I think it's the same animations too. 
Whoa. It's kind of a, if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Rock hound. It cannot run fast because its body is made out of rocks. Because it's a rock hound. Yep, he's part golem. It's kind of duplicating what we saw back in Monster Rancher 1. Detonair. No one equals its speed when it runs through the forest. Come on. Zoom. Yep, he looks the same. <laughs> Except for he's part zoom instead of dino this time. Tiger. Many ordinary people keep this monster. It's interesting that it's a tiger and not a wolf. Yeah, it's very wolf-like. I wonder if it was kind of one of those oops translations. I'm not actually sure. I never really thought about it. Harehound. This monster it's, is very cute and will make you want to keep it. Yeah, see, Harehound. Harehound. Hound. It's German. Yep. You kind of reminds me of that really fat one from the C rank, official C in Monster Rancher 1. <laughs> Balan. Because of its solemn nature, ordinary people doesn't keep it. <laughs> ordinary people doesn't keep it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that thing is just as creepy! Yep, moving on. Mono wide. It is weak in measuring exact distance with its single eye, but strong in measuring multiple distances I with its single so. eye. I guess so. Um, for having only one eye, it's not too bad. Look at the way it jiggles. Jiggle, jiggle. Ha ha ha. Jellyhound. After it passes by, even warm air turns into cool air. Okay. Good to know. It's... The problem with showing off the ones that are sub-gel is there's not much to see because you see right through it. Well, our, our viewers are just very perceptive. <laughs> your viewers, anyway. Tropical Dog. It is popular mainly in the southern region. This one's subplant, I believe. Yeah. I think it's cute. I think so, too. I don't know why. I just... It's... It's like, love me. I, I think it's its face that does it for me. I don't know how good of a monster it would actually be, but it's cute. Terror Dog. It takes extra care properly maintain its beautiful hair. Hair instead of fur. Ugh. Part model. Oh. It's cool. He's got like little symbols on him. Shake, 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 Shana. <laughs> shake it all down. Jagged Hound. Its four eyes will not function at the same time. Why not? That's weird. Does it keep closing them? Yeah, this one's Subworm. Ooh, I like it. Anything that's Subworm is cool. Surprised it's not Beklon, in all honesty. Maybe the horn looks stupid. <laughs> Kabalos. Ordinary people are prohibited from keeping this monster. So, ordinary people have most tigers, but not this one. It's part Naga. Because this one's aggressive. This one, I, I can't imagine being a very good tiger because you're you're losing the skill and speed that from the part Naga. White Hound. This monster has pure white hair and much is made of it. Is this, um... I think this is one of the main characters in the anime, actually. It's been so long since I've watched it, I can't really remember now. I should be, I'm kind of embarrassed that I can't remember. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. Ah, so now we're on to hoppers. Eh, we got time. Okay. Fairy hopper. It can jump a little higher than other hoppers. Maybe because it has wings. <laughs> oh, we had a hopper. They're not too bad. You need one to to get a whole bunch of other monsters, but yep, it's kind of creepy for a hopper. <laughs> Some googly eyes. Googly, googly, googly eyes. Ah, the Draco Hopper. Though its potential is high, few people raise such a scary looking monster. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see why. That thing is pretty scary. It Googles. Alrighty. Skipper! Oh, this looks familiar. It will move seductively when someone touches. Did I read that right? You did. When somebody touches its horn. The game was rated E for everyone, right? This was... The, the ESRB was around by this point. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, some simple statement like that's just fine. It's not, <laughs> not graphic or anything. The Hopper. It is a naughty monster, but is loved by many trainers. It's just ugh. the eyes. The eyes have it. The eyes in the dark. Mustachios. I have never seen this one. This monster is always clustered with companions. Eyes of the mother. Wait, have I seen this one? No, I don't know if I've have oh, seen this. Why is it a little mustache? It does have a little mustache. It's Subkato. Okay, that one is kind of cute, actually. I bet it wouldn't be too bad, either. Emerald Eye. Ugh. It is said that it loves to eat jewelry, especially emeralds. Was it part Bjarl? Yeah. Well, I've never. Oh, I've never seen this one. That's, that's a weird decision that they made there to make its eyes all jewelly. I want to see the is the bottom of his feet looking. Okay. Sorry, the Bjarl stuff usually has like so many cool patterns. I just kind of want to get a good look at it. It's not horrible. At least it's better than the dragon one. Springer, its body shows a soft luster because of its metal or blood. Oh, I've never seen this one either. Uh it looks rougher than before. It looks like a robot. I keep thinking its mouth is gonna open like in its belly. It's like raw. <laughs> I'm hungry, I eat things. Rear eyed. It has a third eye in the back of its head. If I remember right, it actually does. Turn around. Yep. There it is. It doesn't blink or anything since it's just, um... Texture? Texture, but yeah. Snowhopper! Snowboarding was created by copying the way this monster skis. Oh, this one's sub Jill, I think. Yeah. Aww. It's kind of cute in its own weird way. Pink Hopper. It is combined. F it is a combined monster from two other popular monsters, but it is not popular. Aww. Sub Mochi. Yeah. We've seen this one. Okay. Sneak Hopper. It is very self-centered and it is it has a cunning character. Ooh. I think it's model. Oh no, Joker. Creepy. <laughs> yeah, not so good. Yeah. Woody Hopper. It is covered with body hair that looks like bark at a glance. I like the picture with the little sun in the corner there. I had actually seen this one as a kid. Oh, he's got like a hole in his head. I was about to comment on that. No wonder it's not too smart. <laughs> <laughs> Frog Hopper. It likes to play battle games with kids and be mischievous. I have never seen this one. It must be special. Battle yeah. Toads. Huh. I feel like they could have made it a little bit more frog-like, but it's not bad. A little bit? Oh, the hairs. Yeah, we got time. Fairy hair. It worries about what people think and is very shy. Shh, don't tell anybody. Ugh, hairs in this game. So fat. They are so fat. And jiggles. And wiggles. Like another small furry mammal we know. <laughs> Buyer's not appreciating that comment. Oh my gosh, I just don't understand why they made hairs like this. Rocky fur. Its body is hard as rock, but too heavy to move quickly. Byron quiet. Good boy. He's trying really hard to listen to that command. <laughs> yep, it's part golem. Scaled hair. Its ability to jump is better than that of other hairs. Yeah, again, a lot of these hairs are almost identical to the ones in Monster Rancher 1. It's a little known fact. Hairs actually have a waterbed inside under, <laughs> under their skin. Blue hair. Its blue body is considered to be cute and is highly in high in popularity. Yeah, these are actually really good hairs. So what... Although it had a different name, it was like Pulse Corn, I think, in the first one. Mm. What were you going to say? So what is it about reading and doing LPs that makes it so that reading ability goes down considerably? 
I don't know. I, mean, I think part of the problem is these sentences don't really make much sense. That's true. Hair. Hair is a little monster, but it can move quickly and it is brave. Plus, the other problem is like, there's like three words per line. You know, so people like me who like read rather quickly and I skim words, it's kind of hard to skim words when there's only three per line. I've been really working hard on improving my reading ability. I feel like I make a lot less mistakes these days than I used to. Prince Hare. It contains deity blood and has a refined appearance. Prince Hare. Poor golly. I like its picture. Yep, it's part golly. <laughs> four eyed. It aimed it accurately aims at its target with its four eyes. I guess all four of his eyes can work at the same time. Yeah, I can't zoom in any further, but instead of having two big eyes, he's got four tiny eyes. Can't zoom in anymore, unfortunately, to show that. You can kind of see it in the picture there. Mmm, yeah. Jelly hair. Its body is firmly constructed except its flabby belly. <laughs> you search for everything that's flabby, it's firm. Uh, oh, that's his tail going around back there. I thought that was the little heart, but it's not. It's his tail. He's got kind of like giant eyebrows, doesn't he? Yes. They are from intimidation. <laughs> leaf hair. When it excites, the leaf pattern on its back will become bossed. Interesting. Let's check it out. Kind of hard to look at leaf pattern when you keep jiggling around like that, buddy. I'm trying to see. Eh, it just looks like leaves. I can't really see any other pattern. Ooh. Evil hair. Unlike other hair monsters, it's a nocturnal monster. Nocturnally. I wonder why they have to keep pointing out if it's nocturnal or not. It's so weird. Probably just to get themselves something to write. <laughs> Wild hair. This is a manly looking monster with famous bushy eyebrows. I don't know if it's worm or becklon. Oh, worm. Okay. I know in the first game it was worm, but... Oh my gosh, my stomach's starting to hurt from looking at all <laughs> that, that the stomach jiggling so much. Purple hair. It can launch sharp attacks, but it is weak and defense. Most hairs are, this one especially. Yep, he's purple. I didn't work too hard on this one. Kung Fu hair. It trains Zeely to master the ancient art of Kung Fu. Kung Fu. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, we've seen worse. Got, like, sneakers on. The training daily, he sure is fat. Yeah! Okay, so we're gonna stop here. Wow, we're, we're not even halfway. Oh my gosh. And we'll see you guys next time when we start the Bakus.